in the 80s. San Francisco was the left bank of comedy. You felt you were at the place where it was happening. We're in a club and it's all magic. Jack Nicholson swearing like you've never seen him swear before. God, we're like celebrities, it's ridiculous. Fall is in the air and like you, I think my thoughts turn to death. San Francisco has always treated stand-up comedy as an art form. It felt like you could try anything. Is my lipstick on? <laughs> We were little rock stars in, in this town. Thanks for coming. You've been nursed. I've been great. Thank you. So I noticed people leaving, audiences being smaller. This club closed, and that club closed. Everything kind of went boom and collapsed, a bit like a comedic recession. They definitely look like guys with a big future. And it just wasn't fun anymore to perform because they're not there to see it. They're, they're just babysitting them so they can drink beers, and I said, fuck it. My life sucks. The world hates me. I'm living in a cartoon. <laughs> I'm growing my fingernails extra long just so I can hang on to the edge right there and not slip off. Because at this point, I'm qualified to be a crash test dummy or a greeter at Walmart. I just want to keep moving forward. I kind of had to patch together a comedy quilt. I might make in a year what a B-level celebrity comic makes in a night. I lost my virginity when I was 15. I might have lost it when I was 11, but I wasn't an altar boy. It's history. It's all comedy history. You got to adapt, otherwise you die like a dinosaur. So I'm adapting. You'll have your chip doing it all right. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Grass Valley, Bedford, Oregon, Reading, and now Modesto. I'm nervous. That's funny. I love to get up there on stage. I'm optimistic for the first time in years. It's better than anything. It's better than sex, better than drugs, better than family. It's better than chocolate fudge. It's, it's, ah. Yeah.